All right, guys, in this video, what we're going to be doing is taking some time to cover a relatively interesting leak that many of you have come across and you've been referring me to asking me to cover it, give my thoughts on it. And I looked it over and I got to admit, there's certainly some interesting information here. But the big question is, well, is this a real leak? Is this legitimate? Should we believe this should we put any stock into this i'm going to tell you right up front it's a leak that's coming from 4chan so therefore many of you are immediately going to throw it out which is totally understandable and i certainly would not recommend you walk away from this video assuming that anything we talk about here today is true or legitimate but i will admit that some of the stuff we're going to go over sounds very plausible and i actually have one thing in particular that I've been thinking about that, you know, looking at the timing of this, reading this, maybe there is a little bit more to this than some people may realize for one very specific reason, which I will get to later in the video. But again, I want to emphasize right up front here that this is a leak coming from 4chan. You absolutely should put very little to no stock into this at all but I'll leave it up to you. You can decide for yourself. So before we go over this information, do me a favor, hit that like button to help the video out, show it your support. And if you are new to the channel, we are on our way to 100,000 subscribers. I would really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button and uh, help us get there sooner. That would be great. But let's go over this leak. So it's not a very extensive leak, but it's to the point, which is interesting because a lot of these leaks that turn out to be completely nonsense and obviously fake, they see they're usually very drawn out and like super detailed. Like they tell you every little thing that's going to be revealed and whatnot. And it's like no one has access to all of this information. Now, the way this leak is presented, it's presented as if it's an email that was sent to this person, or maybe this is actually one of the people on the inside who received the email and wanted to leak it out here. I will say the timing of it is interesting. Uh, you know, we're, we're in June now and a lot of people are expecting Sony to have some type of big event. And it seems that Sony really, really, really wants to keep things under wraps. And we're going to talk about that later. But with all that being said, I just want to let you know, it is a pretty concise leak. So right off the bat here, that tells me there may be something to this. When you see these long drawn out leaks, they're very difficult to believe, right? But the first thing you see here is an image that shows PlayStation Experience. And I'm sure most of you are aware of what PlayStation Experience was. It was Sony's own annual event outside of E3. They did for a couple of years. People really liked it, but it seemed like they were being stretched too thin, as in they couldn't do a big E3 showing. And then six months later, also have enough to show at their own event. And they seemingly retired it. But now that Sony is not partaking in E3, and you know we know that last year they called their event the Future of Gaming Showcase. You know they could continue to name it the Future of Gaming if they wanted to, but you know we're technically in the new generation now, so it's not really the future. It's the it's the present. So bringing back the PlayStation Experience, um, you know, name I think would make a lot of sense. So that's the first thing they present here. It, the post reads, according to an email sent to one of the event attendees, again, they're kind of framing it like they were sent the email from somebody who already received it. It says Sony is planning a new big event for the end of June dedicated to titles coming out soon and beyond between 2021 and 2022 on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and PlayStation VR for this June 28th, 2021. So a lot of information, again, in a very concise manner here. So they're saying there will be a new big event. They're emphasizing that it's going to be a big event. They're saying it's going to be at the end of June. They give us a date, June 28th, which I believe that falls on a Monday, which doesn't sound that far-fetched. If this was on like a Saturday or something, that would be like, okay, Sony doesn't do events on Saturdays. But we know that um, when it comes to their bigger events, Sony is definitely not rigid about when they choose to do it. a lot of people say that they do their events usually on thursdays and that's true but at the same time they're willing to do it at 
any time during the week, really. You know, I just I think that a Saturday is really the only day that wouldn't make much sense for them. Uh, we know that Microsoft is doing their E3 event on Sunday, so it's like I don't really know that the day they're choosing to do it matters. But June 28th, that sounds very much plausible to me. It sounds very plausible because I don't think Sony is going to come out here, obviously, before E3 and do their event. I think Sony's waiting for everybody else to go first and then they're going to try to push their event as late as they can. And who knows? You know, maybe it could even be further out in July. I mean, again, this is just a leak, but they give us a date. They say that Sony wants to focus on games that are coming between 2021 and 2022. So this also makes a lot of sense. And this does fall very much in line with the way Sony likes to present their games. Um, last year, Sony didn't show very many titles at all that were coming beyond 2022. There, there were some that they showed that were like certainly further out, but overall, the majority of the games that we saw were targeting, you know, the next 12 to 18 months. And it would make sense that Sony would want to do that again. They do mention PSVR here, which is interesting. The post continues by saying among the event attendees, there will also be Guerrilla Games, Sony Santa Monica, Capcom, Square Enix, Ubisoft, EA, and others. Now, this is pretty interesting because they're saying Guerrilla Games is going to be there. That makes sense. I would assume if Sony does have another big event, they're going to want to show a little bit more of Horizon. Not another gameplay demo, but maybe another gameplay trailer, a story trailer with a release date. That would make sense. Obviously, we're all expecting Sony Santa Monica to be there. They don't list any other first party studios, which is interesting to me, but it does say that there will be others. They mentioned Capcom, so yeah, I think we would all expect Capcom to be there. Square Enix, some people have said that Square Enix wouldn't actually be part of Sony's own main event because they're already going to be part of E3, but I don't agree with that. I think that Square Enix is literally going to show up anywhere PlayStation shows up. They have a ton of PlayStation exclusive games in development, so yeah, I, I would expect them to be there. Uh, Ubisoft is apparently going to be there. I've seen some people saying that Ubisoft would not show up at a PlayStation event because they're usually partnered with Microsoft, but that's not really how these things work. These third-party publishers, they have a lot of different games that they can kind of spread out evenly when it comes to marketing rights. So Ubisoft could very well show up at Xbox's E3 and then also be there again during PlayStation's event. That's, you know, that's not something that would be surprising. They mentioned EA. EA is interesting to me because I don't, I don't really recall EA usually taking a, a, being a big part of PlayStation's events. Maybe I'm remembering incorrectly, but EA certainly is usually the one that's kind of sticking either with Microsoft or doing their own thing. And I know that EA is doing their own thing, so we'll have to see. I mean, that's the one that kind of sticks out to me where it's like, eh, I don't know about that. But then again, it's it's EA. It's one of the biggest third-party gaming publishers in the world it would make sense for them to show up at the PlayStation event if there is an event. Now, the post finishes off by saying some of the focuses of the event will be the launch date of Horizon Forbidden West. And they actually give us the date here, claiming it's going to be November 30th, 2021. So a couple of things here with this date. First of all, it is on a Tuesday, so it would make sense. It is during the holiday, but to me, it seems a little bit late. November 30th, definitely seems a little bit late for a game like Horizon Forbidden West. But at the same time, I could see it. I could see November being the date because we know that Deathloop is coming, I believe, in September now. We don't know what exactly Sony has lined up for October. I, if I'm not mistaken, I, th I think Ghostwire Tokyo is set to come out in October. So it would make sense for Horizon to be November. I'm just not sure that I'm... I'm buying the idea that it's going to come out at the very end of November, basically going into December. It seems a bit late. I think Sony would try to get it out before then. But again, you know, this is going to be their big holiday title. So that date is believable. It's just not maybe what I was expecting if it turns out to be that that is actually when it's releasing. And it says there's a new remake project by Square Enix plus Bluepoint Games and a first look at the new PSVR 2. So two very interesting things here. Again, they're not going into extensive detail. It seems like 
Look, here's what's strange to me about this, okay? And for those of you who maybe have been listening this long, well, first of all, thank you. You're sitting here maybe believing, oh, this maybe this leak is real. This part here is what confuses me because everything up until this point sounded very believable, very much like, okay, yeah, this seems, again, it's very concise, it's to the point, and then just randomly at the end, oh, by the way, there's going to be a, a, a remake project between Square Enix and Blue Point Games. That seems so just kind of jammed in there. It, it makes me think, like, is, is that something Sony would reveal in an email? Also, I, I want to point out here, would Sony reveal in an email to attendees Horizon Forbidden West's release date? I'm going to say no, they won. So there, there are some major red flags here. Okay, there are some major red flags here. But the thing is, is I'm not so sure if this is a real leak coming from, let's assume, a person who is on the inside and has this info. I'm not so sure that this is actually an email that's being sent to attendees. It may just be this is somebody who knows what Sony's planning to do and they have this information and they're just revealing it. Again, they're trying to do it under the guise of, oh, I saw this email, right? Again, somebody would do this in such a way to cover themselves. And I, I'm gonna talk about that in just a minute, but it mentions Square Enix plus Blue Point Games. That's a little bit fishy to me because it's like, I know Sony's very tight with Square Enix and Blue Point Games, but I, I, I haven't heard anything at all. There hasn't even been any hints or indicators of Blue Point Games working on a Square Enix IP for a remake, but you never know, I guess. And then they mentioned PSVR 2, which that would make sense. It would make sense for Sony to want to show off PSVR 2 for the first time during their next big event. But all in all here, there's one last thing I want to say that I won't lie. It makes me lean more towards maybe there's some truth to this. Maybe, just maybe. That being, Sony is on complete lockdown when it comes to leaks. So you would think to yourself, well, wouldn't that mean that this is definitely fake then? Not necessarily, because you have to think about the way this is being presented. And I'm not trying to spend too much time thinking about it too much. Again, I know that there's a lot of people who are just immediately throwing this away, but if you think about it, if you are somebody on the inside who does have this info, you know when Sony's event is planned for, you know, you have a general idea of what they're going to show, um, who's going to be part of it. You Maybe you even have Horizon Forbidden West release date and you want to put this information out there. How do you go about it? This is exactly how you do it and don't get caught. You go on 4chan, you put a random post, and that's something we have to acknowledge here is that I know that everybody's like, oh, leaks are never real when they're coming from 4chan or these random place like Pastebin and whatnot. That's not true, actually. In fact, there have been quite a few times where we learned about stuff way in advance by some random person who just happened to have this information and they just decided, I'm going to dump this here. And if, you know, people want to believe it, they can believe it. If they don't, they don't. And that's what's interesting to me about this is that like, you know, Sony's been on such an intense lockdown with leaks, like nothing is leaked out. You could say, oh, well, that Final Fantasy Origin game leaked. Yeah, but that's under Square Enix. Literally nothing underneath Sony is leaked. That Horizon Forbidden West State of Play, who knew about that? Nobody knew about that. Like literally nobody knew about it. Nobody was talking about it. And so I guess all I'm trying to say is that if we were to have any information leaked, about PlayStation's event, this is kind of how I would expect it to leak out at this point. I don't expect to hear anything from any insiders or anything like that. I don't think anybody's going to risk getting caught or, you know, stick their neck out like that. And if they were, this is how they would do it because there's just no way, you know, th th this is the only way they could do it without anybody knowing who did it, you know what I mean? Or, or who could have been the culprit, you know, for leaking this stuff out. So I just wanted to end it on that note, but there's there's definitely some red flags here, but it could be true. You know, it could be true. So at this point, I'm going to leave it to you guys. I'm definitely going to be interested to see what you guys think about this. Um, let me know if you believe it. Let me know if you don't believe it. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below. Leave the video a like, subscribe if you're new, hit the bell notification icon, and feel free to share this video out on top of all that. But until next time, guys, take care.